hi coach Andy here today we're going to try out um, applying or setting up an account with the Ministry of Public Service and so we see how to prepare to apply for a job with the Ministry of Public Service uh, we start by going to the website uh, Ministry of Public Service Uganda and then we get there we're trying to see what it takes to apply for a job with the Ministry of Service Public Service using the e-recruitment uh, system so uh, we actually have to go to the Public Service Commission so instead of the Ministry of Public Service we're going to quickly go and look at the Public Service Commission Uganda in a Google search so when you get there you click the link of Public Service Commission psc.go.ug it brings a window which shows the website for the recruiting um, function for the ministry of for, for the for the entire public service of Uganda we're going to be seeing how we get onto the e-recruitment system because nowadays all the recruitments are done online uh, so we click the e-recruitment system and we're going to try to um, create an account with the Public Service Commission. Why do we want to create an account? So that we are able to submit or create job applications on the e-recruitment system. So right now what I'm going to capture is my email. We have to register as a new user. You click register as a new user and it will open a window that shows you where to register as an applicant. So I'll create a surname as coach and other names as Andy. I'll put my date of birth as February 1990 uh, and we call it 1st of February 1990 we have to specify your gender and then you have to capture your email as well and then you create a password and you can ask Google to suggest a strong password or you can uh, create a password that you will remember if you use google to save your passwords then google will suggest a strong password and save it into uh, its password system so once you create a, a profile it automatically takes you into the e-recruitment system and it will show you what is cooking by telling you what's up at the ministry there is a short list for oral interviews for assistant commissioner social affairs there's another short list for oral interviews for senior internal auditors uh, and you'll find guidelines on how to fill and apply for Uganda government service jobs and what we're looking for is what are the current jobs available so and then you have provision for downloads and most of these downloads relate to people who are already working in the Ministry of Public Service with the government of Uganda so you have to be able to create your profile first in order to uh, apply for a job so we go to the left and of the of the window and we click fill or update your profile 
and so they say to apply first fill in the following details you definitely should be able to capture your bio data you should be able to capture your contacts if you have spouses and dependents you need to be able to capture that as well and uh, your education background, your employment record, your additional details, documents, referees, and you should be able to have uh, an application that you can preview. So once you've captured all this information, then you'll be able to apply for a job with the Public Service Commission uh, of Uganda. So let's look at the bio data. It will tell you to capture your surname, it will tell you to select your gender, your date of birth, your marital status, you have divorced, married, separated, single or widowed, you choose one of those and then um, you can capture your national ID number, your NIN, you select your nationality and the district has a drop down which more or less tells you where you come from and so you can select in this case uh, you can select say Kampala for example or Wakiso I'll select Wakiso and then the sub county there is Kakiri, there is Weogere, there is Kira Division. I'll select Kira Division and then you can select uh, your village, which can be uh, Chaliwajala or Kimwanyi. Kira Kimwanyi. And then residence residential status you can then select whether you're a permanent resident or not after doing that you click save and you continue once this information is saved then you go ahead and capture your contacts your telephone contacts should be captured there your email address should be captured there and your postal address should be captured there um, it's not able to load because it says the dynamic content load failed uh, let's go there phone number you add your phone number uh, 0771234 Seven. and then you save then you can enter your email address if you have an extra email address and that could be uh, at coach.com and then you save that as well and then we move to postal address and then you save, you capture your postal address if you have any, uh, and then you save. Uh, once that is done, you can then go and capture your dependents or your spouse or partners, and so you keep listing them one by one. I'll select a random one and say, uh, say, child, date of birth, and then um, say you got one child uh, on Valentine's Day on February 2023, and you say save, okay, and then you add another dependent. You add them until you've captured uh, as many as uh, you have and then we go to the education background and do the same and you can capture academic records by saying from say 2015 to 2017 um, you are studying say at Makere University 
and what did you get you got a bachelor's degree in maybe social sciences and what was your specialty specialization it could have been psychology and the class of the degree could be a first class and you capture your registration number uh, that you had at the university so when you're filling this uh, application form make sure you have this online application make sure you have your CV next to you you have your academic documents next to you so that you do not lose out on um, information and the machine the system does not time you out when you're done you click save and you keep adding academic record after academic record and um, when you're done with education background then you go to employment record and then you capture your employment record as well and you state when the position you held the employment term whether it was permanent contract or on probation you specify the salary scale if you do not know you select other because the salary scales captured on the public service e-recruitment system reflect only government scales you state the employer and the type of employer whether they are consulting NGO government international organization or private sector and you capture the address of the employer preferably the physical postal phone and uh, an email address and then you capture your main duties which are normally found in your previous roles job description and hopefully you can capture key achievements they are listed as optional but for your benefit it's better to show showcase what you've been able to achieve uh, after that you click save and we move into additional details what does this give you it allows you to state whether you've done uh, you are a member of professional bodies it allows you to demonstrate whether you have a criminal record or not it also allows you to demonstrate whether you have a disability now in Uganda there are one two three four five six five mostly five kinds of disabilities in other countries if you have uh, diabetes you also considered uh, being disabled especially in the likelihood that you will get to an advanced stage after that we capture um, our documents we are given an opportunity to upload our documents and the documents we are required to upload include our passport photo uh, undergraduate I mean um, O level ordinary level certificate your bachelor's degree certificate your academic transcript uh, other certificates and uh, USCE certificates as well as national ID so you can attach all these documents and put them onto your site uh, onto your space and subsequently we are required to name uh, referees most of the time they'll ask you for at least three referees you write the name of the referee the position the organization their address the email and phone contact and click save uh, when we are done with that then we can preview the application uh, we haven't filled in our details because we don't want to create dummy data and then you find a job that you're interested in and when you click find a job you'll see the available adverts uh, because this is for fresh graduates we shall look at the most recent whose deadline is 13th of March that's next month so we have a land officer petroleum economists I saw one with HR so I'll just run down to human resource officer the Ministry of Public Service I click that it gives me the details and it as you can see it says applications should be filled online not later than the 13th of March uh, and then the mandatory requirements are there and they tell us to visit the website we register as new users there are details included and they tell us you can only apply for one post and uh, only online applications will be considered 
an applicant should have the following competencies and the list of competencies is there so they tell you the qualifications the duties and responsibilities and then you can comfortably submit your application so i go to um, my applications and see if i can apply there okay in case of an inquiry there are numbers to call and an email you can send to so please do not send to a fake email which does not end with psc.go.ug uh, to view your applications you can go there and see if you have um, submitted any application otherwise you go to your adverts get your adverts and see if you need to apply to a specific one and then let's see if we'll have provision to click apply you can apply for one post okay it just tells us to go back to the list of of jobs so once we fill our personal details employment details contact details then we shall be enabled to apply once our profile has been uh, filled and that, that's why you see it saying to apply first fill in the details so this is just a short presentation on what it takes to apply for your public service job uh, if you have any questions there are contacts that are provided by the ministry of public service and the public service commission do not hesitate to reach out to them and do not be fleeced by anyone who says that um, they will give you a link or send them your application the applications for ministry of public service jobs in uganda's uh, fresh graduate applications are carried out online on the public service commission website thank you for listening in and have a good uh, day bye for now